lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for a song. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about it, no. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. These guys are idiots, but a sword was... We just need to stay the hell away from them. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. You're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious? Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Asav's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. Give me a second. I can wait. Time to go. Wait here. Sure, yeah. I'll wait. All done. Uh. Back in a second. Copy that. Excuse me a moment. I can wait. Let's go.
mind waiting a minute? You got it. All set. Take a load off. I'll be right back. Sure, go ahead. All done. Incredible. You got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain. Right? That carving looks familiar. Yes, it's the same symbols on our disc. Must mean we're close, right? It's got to mean something. Hopefully, finding these symbols will give us some answers. Yeah. Let's roll. Here again? I was thinking we should see if we can figure out what the symbols mean first, yeah?
Up there! One of Asov's trucks. Looks clear out here. The motif here matches the giant relief we saw earlier. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. It was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. <laughs> this should do the trick. Okay. Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Okay. In we go. Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Fraser? <coughs> yep, fine. Come on down. They've left their climbing gear. <coughs> right. <sighs> now what? Uh, the whole complex is flooded. Let's find a way out. <coughs> Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> 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 
Hang on. Shit. What was Hey! I have I Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues. With two different symbols now. Star and voice of our sun is but I like your description better.
I got it. Right. Got it. Come on over. Copy that. Ugh. Figured we had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in threes. Share. Oh, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysala jigsaw puzzle? Of course, I'm making an axe. Shiva. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. How about that? That massive relief we visited earlier. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go 
digging for treasure. I'd better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. But well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort in the lake bed is certainly worth a look. And probably that fort above the waterfalls. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. No! No! Lake bed and waterfalls. Roger that. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about it. I had my concerns. Give me a second. I can wait. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. Sorry, I need a moment. Fraser, wait. Careful, that place is crawling with rebels. I... Here goes everything! Sniper!
area. <laughs> Anything over there? No, I don't see that. Give it up. It's over. Let's see what we've got here. Worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Huh. I'll be right back. Back in a second. Copy that. Seems to be a lot of these about. Over we go. Yeah.
Of course. Nothing's ever simple. What have we got here? Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Waiting a minute. You got it. All set. Coming. Copy that. Let's get out of here. Shall we? Sure. Once more, with gusto. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. I should have brought my gloves. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talking. It's Fraser! That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. really don't want me shooting from down here. Okay. Yeah. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. 
You do have a sense of humor. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a sob. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. Think a source of men know what they're looking for? Not from what I can tell. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! Friends up ahead. They don't know we're here. Good. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? Watch yourselves. Are we clear? We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. Perfect. That should do it. Well, you 
made it across at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Ah! Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. I think the innermost circle moves the outer ring. Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, whoa. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm hmm? Oh. Oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? 
Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, oh, this is open now. by the falls left. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Makes more sense why I solved after the task now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause. Wave it in the government's face. Just like all the other things. This has happened before.
we'll take a look around. All right, bye for now. I'm just going to take a look around. Happy hunting. Fraser, wait. Fraser, we've got company up ahead.
marking you down. We should visit the last fort. Turn the water on. I'm just going to take a look around. I'll wait here. I'm just going to take a look around. I'll keep myself busy.
do a bit of sightseeing. Right behind you. No telling how many men are in there. You ready? I guess we'll find out. Not yet. Hey, one of them are in here. All of them. They're all in here. We've got your back. Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. Quiet to overrated. He doesn't. I will back you up. You see them? <laughs> They are gone! That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. And how about you? That's two. Here's another. I'll get it. Found you. <coughs> Only one left.
Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. I do. There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside ring. Ganesh. Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Could there be water? Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. You just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. <laughs> right. All right. Let's find a way out. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun.
We're clear. For real this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short, controlled burst means. Alright. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. anywhere else out there. Now's the time to do it. Right. Shall we? Look, for what it's worth, your kick-ass reputation has got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a... Hold that thought. Okay, what were we talking about again? Huh. Oh yeah. <clears throat> right. In all honesty, it's also nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. He's trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice.
Come on, I need a second set of eyes. Yeah, I'm in. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? <laughs> 